everyone, I'm Jessie from Nailed It NZ and today I'm going to show you how to do these Halloween mummy nails which are created by watermarbling. This is a collaboration with the very talented Colette of My Simple Little Pleasures and she is the one who initially created this design. So as you can see this is a mini swap and if you head over to Colette's channel you will see that she has recreated my cute little ghost nails. We have each put our own twist on these designs and I hope you guys like them. If you do, please thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to both of our channels. Our links are both down below and thanks for watching. Alright, so let's get started. I did these using my non-dominant hand so they're not quite perfect, but this also proves that they're not too tricky to do either. I started off by applying a base coat to all of my nails and then painted them with a light base colour. The same grey I'm going to use in the water model. I did two coats, but you could probably get away with just one. Next I applied a whole heap of Simply Peel all over the skin surrounding the nails. You don't have to do this but it definitely makes cleanup a whole lot easier. Make sure it gets well on the underside of your fingers as well like you can see here. Okay so here we've got a little glass of water. I used a cheap disposable wine glass from the supermarket and filled it with room temperature water. If it's too cold the polish will dry too fast so watch out for that. Open the three bottles of polish you're going to use. I used brown, beige and grey and drop one drop at a time onto the surface of the water. I used nail polish thinner first in all of these bottles to make sure the polish was thin enough to spread out and this is really helpful. If you don't have any thinner just test out your polishes first to see which ones spread. Keep adding drops until you're happy with it or can't fit anymore and then use a toothpick or this funky little tool from What's Up Nails to make lines going back and forth across the design. Try to keep them as straight as possible. Then dip your nail in and blow on the water to dry the excess polish. Clean up the dried polish with a q-tip or in my case freak out because you can't find your q-tips and use an eyeshadow applicator instead. Once the water is clear pull your finger out and it should look something like this. Right, so I just did one finger then, but you can do multiple at once. Here I'm doing the whole thing again and putting in three fingers. This makes them a lot more consistent and you waste less polish then too. I had quite a bit of fun pulling off the Simply Peel as it got stuck all together when I closed my fingers. And then I had this disgusting little gluey polishy mess afterwards, but it was still way easier than a massive clean up with nail polish remover. Off camera I did the pinky which ended up completely different which was annoying and then finished the clean up with a brush and some nail polish remover. Now it's time to create the eyes. Colette used googly eyes but 3D stuff drives me nuts so I decided to paint on eyes instead. I used some black polish to paint on what looks like a little mask as you can see here. I ended up making a few different looks with this and on some nails tried to follow the grain of the water marble to make it look more natural but yeah it's totally up to you how you do it. Then I used some white polish to paint on the actual eyes, again these varied a lot across the different nails. If they mess up just use some black polish to go over or reshape them. Add a little black pupil in the middle and that's the painting done. Clean up any extra mess around your cuticles and then apply a top coat. And that's these done! Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and go check out Colette's channel for her recreation of my little ghost nails. Thanks for watching and I will see you later. This is the trickiest bit as you want to keep it really thin so make sure your brush is just being cleaned and only has a little bit of polish on it. Add some stitches, again make these as thin as possible and then go back and fill. 